Hi everybody, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we're finally starting to see large cruise ships on the ocean. That's right, right now in the Philippines, a cruise ship with 1,200 passengers can hold 2,900 passengers, set sail on a short uh, cruise around that country. In Germany, we have the Mein Schiff 2, I think it's called, or My Ship 2, if you translate it into English. And it is just set sail on a three-day cruise. Um, no ports, just a short cruise in and out, but again, 1,200 passengers, the ship holds 2,900 passengers. So these are the large cruise ships. These would be a mid-sized cruise ship setting sail with a lot of people on board, not just a couple hundred here or there. And then we have Ada Cruise Line getting ready to launch three of her ships in Germany area as well, as well as P&O hoping to open up very shortly in Britain, doing maybe the British Isles and places like that. Uh, so we're seeing the larger cruise ships starting to test the waters, if you will, with at least a few, you know, a thousand people on board, which which is a lot bigger test than going out with 60, 150, 180 passengers. Controlling 1,200 passengers and keeping them safe and making sure that nothing happens out there is a lot harder to do. But it's something we have to do to get the cruise line started up. And so far, so good. There were rumors that the first cruise ship, uh, the My Ship 1, which was supposed to set sail before My Ship 2 uh, for a three or four day cruise, it, they canceled that first cruise and said it was because they had trouble getting the crew members to the ship on time with all the travel restrictions that are out there and the flights and things like that that they had to work from their countries and the testing, etc. They had a lot of trouble. It was reported from Cruise Law News blog that um, it's possible that there were pa uh, crew members who tested positive and it wasn't because they had a hard time getting people to the ship, but it was because they actually had crew members test positive, so they had to cancel the cruise. But that is from a Facebook post that he put out there and that supposedly a couple members of crew members from that ship. But nothing has been verified. Nothing's been verified from the cruise lines that I can find anywhere. And considering that Ada Cruise Lines just announced, hey, we have 10 members positive and this is what we did and this is what we did. It, it seems uh, a little, it's hard to say for sure that this cruise line is just hiding the fact that they had two, you know, a couple people test positive, six or seven crew members when Ada just brought it out with no problem and they're owned by, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It, it just, it's nothing verified with that. But the good news is the larger ships are starting to sail in different parts of the world, which is a good sign because we need those ships out there to see what happens. And some people are, we're ready to cruise. How many people right now are just ready to go sit in the bar and watch sports? You know what I mean? But we all know that, well, there's a chance you might get the virus if you go watch TV in a bar with, you know, 50 other people in the bar. So, you know, but it's the same thing. You're taking your risk there. You're taking your risk going on a ship. You're taking your risk driving on a bus. So really at some point, we're all just gonna have to take that risk or decide if the risk is worth it for us. And it's a personal choice, right? So it's, uh, you do what you can, you social distance as much as you can, but you still have to live life. And that's kind of been the model going forward. And that's how we're going to have to start acting. Our whole government here in Canada has kind of changed their uh, perspective from we have to get down to zero cases to we have to learn how to live with it and mitigate it whenever it pops up. Because we know we'll never get to zero because you can't. It's like saying you'll never have a cold. 
Um, it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> so you can't, right? So there we are. Big cruise ships finally on the water. I'm glad to see 1,200 people on each of these ships were willing to go. And of these ships, it's not like they've been selling these cruises for months and months and months and months. They've only gone on sale like in the last 30 days. So to get 1,200 people willing to go on short notice on a short cruise with no ports is, is just shows you how much interest and how much love for cruising that some people have. And uh, it's just good to see that there's still people willing to do this out there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's good news that there's some larger ships out there? Uh, I'm kind of glad to see it. I would like to see one or two in North America, even doing just U.S. cruises to no port. No port at all. But we need to get our numbers down just a little bit. It would be nice to see something like that. Maybe a Canadian coast cruise just around the bubble in the Maritimes you know, with a thousand passengers. I'm sure we could get Canadians to sign up for that. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.